Merci, Monsieur le Président. Mesdames et Messieurs les, les députés, permettez-moi tout d'abord de, de vous remercier pour vos contributions au cours de ce débat. Vous le savez, l'Union européenne s'est dotée d'un agenda ambitieux en matière de durabilité. Avec cette initiative que j'ai annoncée sept ans après la tragédie du Rana Plaza, nous avons la possibilité de mettre en œuvre concrètement nos engagements sociaux, environnementaux et en matière de droits humains par le biais de la gouvernance des entreprises. La Commission a suivi une approche à la fois ambitieuse et proportionnée dans sa proposition de directive dont les petites et moyennes entreprises sont exclues. Je suis heureux d'avoir pu bénéficier d'un large soutien de votre Parlement dans cet effort afin d'éviter une fragmentation à travers de multiples législations nationales dans l'Union européenne et afin de développer une économie plus juste et plus durable. Je serai évidemment très heureux maintenant d'entamer, si possible, les trilogues avant l'été. Ce dossier, vous le savez, constitue une des grandes priorités politiques de mon mandat et vous pouvez compter sur mon engagement personnel en vue de son adoption. Je vous remercie. Merci, merci beaucoup, Madame Rapporteure Wolters. The floor is yours. Thank you, colleagues, for this debate. Thank you to all those who participated. And it's great to see the support expressed by so many colleagues here today. And I hope that this backing will transform into a substantial majority tomorrow. At the same time, let me address some of the criticism expressed here today. I hear that due diligence will affect Europe's competitiveness, but the very core of this law is a level playing field between EU and non-EU companies. I've heard also that this would be a disproportionate burden for companies, but that overlooks the reality of what we're proposing here. We don't ask companies to go and fight every problem on this planet. We allow them to prioritize actions that are relevant to them and to the risks that they face. We're aware of the importance of industry collaboration in different sectors, and we're preventing heavy contractual obligations for SMEs. Meneer Manders, die kan ik ook geruststellen. De lokale harmonie, de lokale voetbalclub of de carnavalsvereniging, zolang die niet geregistreerd staan als bedrijf, 250 medewerkers hebben en 40 miljoen omzet, zullen zij niet onder deze wet vallen. Let me also be clear about the world in 2023. Not only are companies able to rise to the challenge of due diligence in the future, they are already doing it. Aldi, IKEA, Unilever, ASOS, Mars, Ericsson, those are just some of the companies calling for human rights and environmental standards that give more clarity on what we mean by responsible business. They are joined by prominent trade uh, associations in the financial, pharmaceutical and technology sectors, to name a few. Those who are now seeking to frustrate this law are siding with a minority of political and commercial interests, and they are electioneering. To my colleagues who need to vote tomorrow, I want to say, if you're on the side of millions of citizens who want to see change, as well as the businesses and civil society that are pleading for that, if you're on the side of responsibility and a Europe fit to lead on the big questions of our time, then show that tomorrow. Reject the amendments, back this compromise, and let us go to trilogues. And last, but definitely not least, I want to very well warmly thank the Commissioner for his leadership in this, all of my colleagues who have worked so constructively with me on this and who have been so involved and my own team, Matthew Hogarth and Hélène Biag, whose very last working day in the European Parliament is tomorrow, and without whose help, this would not have been possible. So thank you so much to all. Thank you.